Hang on, everyone. Here we go. Back to the Dixie Queen. Full speed ahead. It's not nice to tell, Fibs. Yeah, because we're going... Going... Gone! It's all over. Ghosts! The ship's haunted! I don't believe it! I don't believe them! Knock it off, you two! This isn't Halloween! Uh, 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 achoo! Gee, looks like you lost your flower power! <laughs> looks like they aren't ghosts anymore, either. It's okay, kids. The masquerade is over. You sure aren't acting like a Mississippi gambler, Mr. Goodwin. Alma, no one here is who they pretend to be. For instance, I happen to be a U.S. Treasury agent. And this is... Captain Canopy? Wrong again. It's really Jack Canna, a notorious counterfeit. A double disguise. Gee, now that's what I really call two-faced. <laughs> and this fake engine Joe was his partner. Well, I thought Johnny was his partner. I was, Daphne, but not in crime. When I inherited the Dixie Queen, he bought in as a partner, not to restore, but to hide his secret activities. So he used the ghost gimmick to scare you away, too. Right. And then when I got wise, he threw me in the brig where Josie and her pals found me. Now all the clues add up. The counterfeiters used a secret cave in Tom Sawyer's cavern to print up their fake money. And the Dixie Queen was their distribution point to the rest of the gang. And the phony ghost scheme was to scare everybody away from their crooked operation. But thanks to you kids, it's all over. Especially for the would-be ghosts. And the Dixie Queen will sail again tomorrow. 